Hello boys and girls. Today got something different. It's not a car. It's not a motorcycle. It's not a lawnmower. But it's got an engine. This. This is a... I'm not sure what this is, what to call this exactly. I'm sure it's going to be in the title by now. But as of now I don't know. But I'm going to call it a gas powered saw. Basically, there is a, a big ass blade, cutting blade here, and you can cut cement. I guess you can cut anything with this. Probably metal beams. As you can see, it's been used quite a bit. This is a K950 Active, made in Sweden. Here we got uh, pull start. Fuel goes in here. It's a two cycle, which means you gotta mix fuel with oil. What's this? P partner? Here we got. Okay, stop, start. I guess when you. Okay. What's this? It looks like this is choke. All right, so that's choke. Depression valve, push before starting. This thing here, okay. So the muffler, here we have the head. This inlet for water. On off valve for the water. So this feeds Okay, right here. So it sprays water on the on the blade. There's a nozzle there inside. There you go. So it, it's less dusty from the cement. But there's a problem. Okay. I was told it's got a tough time starting and it dies almost right away. But there is no fuel, so let's check it out. So I'm gonna add a premixed fuel specifically designed for blah 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 and other two cycle air cold engines, which looks like this is one of those. Just a tiny bit. I gotta take the carburetor apart that's just gonna go to waste we got okay here choke let's see oh 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 problem got a problem it leaked out there you go got a big leak somewhere from there awesome all right so we may have two issues on our hands. The dying part of it and a fuel leak. So I've never worked on it, on any of on anything like this before. You found a better sticker. So this is a Partner K950 Active. Made in Sweden. Looks like it's been taken apart, at least this cover. All right, so that's the carburetor. How do I get to the tank? I gotta take the handle off. It wasn't even tight.
So I gotta split this whole thing. I feel air coming out of here, this valve. So I guess it's easy to turn, to start. Then when you, when probably when it starts, pushes it out, and now you got compression. Quite a, quite a difference now. Oh, ouch. All right, let's leave it like that. I'm uh, just curious what the spark plug looks like. Uh, smell gas. But it doesn't look bad. Alright, how do we get to the tank? This is the actual tank. It's like integrated with the handle here, this whole thing. Got it! It's the fuel filter. See it there? I don't know, is it supposed to be loose like that in there? It's quite dirty in there. I'm just gonna fill it up with water and see what it does. Okay, so looks like the tank itself is okay. It is quite dirty inside, but how can I get to the fuel filter? I'm gonna empty the water out and just clean this up because it's just, I don't like it being dirty. All right, much better. Still not sure how to take the filter out. Maybe the fuel leaked out out of here. This is some kind of an overflow. There's a small hole inside here, just inside there. So this looks like it's a check valve, no air going this way, but restricted air going this way, I'm simply blowing air through here. Okay, so the tank, actually, I can actually build up pressure, okay, so the tank is pretty much sealed up. Looks like there's flow through the fuel filter. So let's put this back together. And give the tank a pass. For now. Alright, let's get to the carb. How do we get to the carb? Looks like it's on a clamp. Alright, there are two bolts down there.
try not to break anything. It looks like it should come out this rubber. This is actually rubber, this black part. It should come out with the clamp. It's not budging at all. Maybe it's just stuck into it. Yeah, I guess it's just corrosion. Good old co corrosion. It looks like it's loose. I mean, the carburetor is loose. There's no doubt about that. All right, I'm going to try and take the carburetor apart while it's still in its spot. See, I think this is in the way and it uh, blocks the rubber with the clamp coming out so maybe if I spin it the other way here it comes okay the head is blocking this little bolt from coming up anymore it was uh, worse than the left side now it's a little better looks like I got clearance so I'm gonna try this again pick this up Gotcha! Okay, what do we got? Made in Ireland. Okay, these are some long bolts. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So I know how to put it back together much easier. I hope. These are some long bolts. And this comes apart. So I can put, in, put it back in steps. We'll see when it comes to it. That's your choke. Choke on, choke off. That's your accelerator. Here we can actually see the piston. Okay, so this we don't need. Okay, clean it all up on the outside so no more dirt gets inside the carburetor. Slowly does it. 
Looks like there was a leak here, some dirt got inside or has been getting inside right here. I'm gonna wash my hands. So that's the float here. This gasket I'm gonna leave. Okay, so now it's ready to clean. Well, I'm gonna take this jet out. I'm gonna get a different screwdriver. I lost my jet. Oh, found. Looks like it's clean inside. Okay, so that removes the this needle here that opens and closes the fuel delivery this guy here that's basically it I can't remove anything else I mean I could but I don't need to these shafts here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna blow air first I'm gonna just spray carb cleaner or brake cleaner inside every hole whatever I can find then I'm just gonna blow air whatever hole I'm gonna blow into I'm gonna try and feel if there's air coming out somewhere else okay be right back this took me three minutes I also brushed off this white stuff from this uh, I guess, I don't know, mixture, bolt, screw. So this is ready to go. Using this kind of spray to clean up the gaskets. This, this stuff is just uh, weaker than brake cleaner. Okay, let's put it back together. Okay, so this part needs to catch. I wonder if that wasn't on. Hmm. Maybe somebody took this apart already and is so gonna slide it in? I don't know, I didn't notice, I just noticed now. So that actually stays there. Okay, it is hooked. This needs to go back too. You know, I kind of knew this wasn't going to be easy.
So now somehow I gotta tighten this one up. Can't really lift it up. Thomas, there's a hole here, man. Look at this. <laughs> oh man, I was just thinking I'm gonna make a hole here, and I look, and it's there already. <laughs> so they actually thought about it. How the hell is it leaking out? I don't know, I'm gonna try starting it anyways. Because this is just weird. I thought I was recording. I did hit record. I've been recording with my phone because my camera is out for repairs. And uh, they fixed it. Then they told me to send it back. So I actually got it. I shipped it back. And they decided to send me a new one. Yeah, so it's been two weeks now. Anyways, I was saying just now, took the fuel filter out and I just broke it apart because I thought I was recording it. So let's do that again. So basically, this is it. So this was very easy to cut open. I could, could have just broken it like that, snapped it. So this is what I found inside. I cut this out, right? Actually, this way. Look. Yeah, I'd say this is a bad filter. I don't know if it should break up like that. I doubt it. So now I gotta get a new one and I gotta wait for it. We'll be right back. All right, got a new filter. It was actually cheaper to buy a pack of five from Amazon for nine bucks versus 15 bucks for one from the actual uh, parts website All 
All right, I'm going to put it back together and we're going to try starting it again. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wow, okay. There's a tiny hole on this hose. That's where it was coming from, on the fuel line here, going from the filter to the carburetor. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it without choke. I didn't see this before. Okay, if you, it was like this. Can't see it? Well, a little bit. See this? Now we can put it back together. This is the end of the Partner K90 Active Cutoff Cement Gas Powered Saw. So we did, we uh, cleaned out the fuel tank, replaced the fuel filter, uh, also cleaned out the uh, carburetor, added new fuel, cut the that fuel line that was uh, leaking, that I did not I admit, I didn't see it at first. Now I'm just going to put this back together, where the blade goes. I think that's how it went. Maybe not. Okay, so this here. So when you're putting stuff back together and you don't know how they go, look for 
the marks on the bolts, nuts, the different parts. Like for example, I know this is too big. Judging by this this clean surface here, this is too big. This is slightly too small. So this is it. You can see it's kind of a same color as well. Maybe if I take this off. See this matches this part here. Okay, see what I'm talking about? So I'm pretty sure that this went here. Okay, now next. Maybe this went on the inside. Yeah, it looks like this actually went on the inside. Yep. You can see this part goes nicely here. Okay. So this, this spacer, and then this, and the bolt. That's it! Alright guys, this is it for this one. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing. If you like the video, hit the like button. And I'll see you soon.